What's up guys, Pete back here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another bowling ball review. I'm very excited for this review here. I've been waiting a long time to finally get this review out to you guys. We're reviewing one of Storm's brand new pieces here in the Storm Absolute. As always guys, thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button, the sub button, the notification bell, and let's kick off the review for possibly the absolute best ball on the market right now. Let's get it. All right guys, so like I said, this is my review for the new Storm Absolute. I'm gonna try to keep the intro here kind of short and just get right into the bowling. I got some good content and shots for you guys here with the Absolute, so I'm really excited for that. I'm, this is a ball I'm very excited for ever since I saw it released on the new, uh, on the Storm website. Uh, first of all, shelf appeal, great shelf appeal to it. That copper and green and black color really stands and pops out with one another and that uh, yellowish gold writing so that looks very uh, very nice uh, first instincts or first looks when I saw the ball reminded me of a ball from back in the day that I really loved um, even though it's a totally different ball it reminded me of the second dimension so that made me really excited for this ball uh, and then into the dynamics of the ball quick uh, brand new core in this bowling ball the uh, Sentinel core um, Storm's first low density core since the Storm Lucid, which a lot of, I wish I still had one. The Lucid is arguably one of my favorite balls of all time. I wish I still had one, so to have a core that's even somewhat similar to the Lucid uh, makes me very excited for that. Um, then into the cover stock, we've got a not brand new, but it's new to us here uh, stateside that this cover has been used on some uh, international releases, uh, R2S Deep Hybrid. So as some of you have heard, uh, some of you have not heard about it yet, Deep Hybrid. Uh, just a little, a little step down from uh, the original R2S Hybrid cover stock, which has been on a lot of bowling balls here stateside. Uh, very popular cover, uh, co cover from the high road, the original high road. So uh, Deep, the D part, um, a lot of people have been describing that as just a cleaner cover. So that should get the ball down the lane a little bit sooner or a little bit longer than uh, the original R2S hybrid. So again, a hybrid cover that made me very excited for this ball as well. Uh, we're gonna be throwing this bad boy over at Sunset Bowl on a fresh typical house shot. And I'm gonna attack the lane from a couple different angles. Uh, see what the ball can do. I'm gonna throw it from straight. I'm gonna throw it right around the track area right where I normally play. I'm gonna get left with it a little bit. I'm gonna get really left with it. And for you two-handers out there, I even got a couple shots in it with it two-handed and you know what? It looked pretty good too. So let's take it over to Sunset and let's review the brand new Storm Absolute. <laughs>
just make sure I execute a little better. I'm starting to see the ball shape a little bit more now. Little by little. I need to try to emphasize my speed here with this ball. I don't, I don't know with the core being as strong as it is, plus the really weak cover, if it's just kind of blown it through the spot, but definitely seems to be kind of speed sensitive right now. I think I'm gonna try to chase, chase the ball left a little and really slow it down and see what it does. See if that softer speed can get the ball to come off the corner a little harder. bit better. Again, I'm gonna think I'm gonna stay kind of where I was at the last one. Kind of left, kind of slow. Give the ball time to get off the back of the pattern without blowing through. Really good and still didn't really want to go. Yeah, this is this is definitely a unique ball motion for me so far. It's it's revving up super early. Revving up super early. And I think that really weak weaker cover with the with the deep R2S hybrid cover, I think that's getting the ball to push down lane a little too far. Pretty bad off my hand. Missed right. I was really forward. Make sure I stay slow here and make a good shot. feel like I'm having the same thing I had with my reality. I, I might knock the shine off this ball when I get a second. See what that does. See if that can help the ball pick up and respond a little harder. I won't do it yet, but maybe after a couple shots here, see what happens. Get way off now, really try to wheel it here. I like it, but 
that struck. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Look at the flare rings on that ball. Definitely a pretty high flaring bowling ball. Really strong core. And then that new Sentinel core. I was really excited to see the release for it because it's a low density core, which is the first storm low density core since the Lucid, which is probably one of my favorite balls ever. So that made me really excited for this ball. It's handling it. Now we'll go way right, test the versatility of the ball. See how this ball does going up the boards. I haven't done that one yet. I think I did. That's the key to bowling, guys. Be versatile. Be able to do different things, even if you're not comfortable with them. Sometimes you just got to learn how to be comfortable. <laughs> Makes more good shots. To round out my review here. This ball really, really likes to be really forward off my hand. I didn't really get around that one. I was really forward with it. I didn't like it, but the ball responded really nicely.
guys. So that was my review for the brand new Storm Absolute. Um, I'll be 100% honest. I don't quite know how I feel yet about the ball. Um, definitely a very unique motion I thought I had for me. And honestly, not a motion I was expecting to see out of it. Um, uh, I didn't mention earlier with the core numbers or anything like that. Um, like I said, we got the brand new Sentinel core, the low density core. It's, uh, and we got an RG of uh, 2.48 and then a differential of 0 0.050. So a very strong, very uh, high flaring uh, core. And um, I think uh, pairing that along with the new R2 S deep hybrid cover, again, that weaker, cleaner cover. I was originally expecting to see a pretty relatively uh, quick motion off the back of the pattern, but when I threw it, I really never quite got that. Um, I could see, I don't know if you guys could see or not, I could see the ball wanting to rev up really early and really hard because of that uh, stronger core. Um, I, like I said, I expected quite a bit of shape out of the ball, even though with a bigger core, it would have revved up harder, but I really didn't, I saw much more of a forward motion with it off the pattern. It, um, it looked like it would hit the break point and then go to get left off the pattern instead of going left to right and going sideways, it just kind of went really straight and um, it looked really controlled. I'm not saying I didn't like the motion out of it, but it definitely wasn't quite what I was expecting. Uh, I think you guys heard me talk about it in between a couple of shots. I might experiment with it a little bit. I'm, next time I throw it, I might do some surface changes to it uh, just to see if I can get the ball to kind of pick up a little sooner, a little harder to kind of benefit my eye a little bit more. Um, I might do that again next time I go up to Brock's and practice up there. And um, again, experiment with some surface changes. Uh, yeah, just to see if I can get that ball to pick up a little bit different and be a little bit more suited for my eye. Um, where it will fit in my bag. Um, being a bigger ball, it's definitely a ball I'm probably going to want to see uh, maybe a little bit sooner in a day or sooner in a league night or anything like that. Um, at the moment, definitely looks like it prefers some straighter angles. You guys saw me get left with it a little bit. It looked pretty good, but again, I think this is a ball that uh, because of that stronger core, it's going to prefer and benefit from some straighter angles. Um, I would say potentially a, a ball for the fresh, but maybe on a fresh when you've got a little bit more friction, maybe if you bowl on like say wood lanes or um, if your guys' uh, volume house shots are just a little bit lighter. Um, because again, with that weaker uh, that weaker cover too, uh, plus the react to gloss finish, that still kind of wants to get the ball to push down lane a little bit. And I said definitely a unique motion because it rubs up really hard, but I think that weaker cover does just help it uh, push a little bit longer than maybe it should. Again, that's why I think I might experiment with some surface on it uh, just to see if I can get that ball to pick up even sooner and even harder might give me a little bit of a better reaction reaction down lane. It, it kind of actually really reminded me of my reality. Like I've talked with you guys about the reality. If I let that ball get lane shined or get shiny at all, it just kind of wants to push and blow through the break point. But when I have it with surface, it looks really good. It comes off the pattern really well. So I think I might see something similar here with that ball. But again, absolute definitely fit, fits in as a bigger ball, a ball for maybe a maybe a fresh situation if you have more friction or if uh, you're balling down from say like your realities, your gems, um, your protons, uh, you need a ball to get to be just a little bit cleaner than those guys. I think the absolute's gonna fit in perfect for that. Uh, it could be like a game two ball if you're bowling in a tournament or anything like that. So again, we got some more shot making to do with it, more, more experiments to do and we can see where that ball truly starts to fit in my bag. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my review for the brand new Storm Absolute. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, go hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post again. So I'm definitely going to expect another video for this ball here in the future. 
And that's about it. That's all I got for you guys. So stay tuned for more in the future. As always, guys, Pete Freezy here. Peace.